Good evening. It is 10 o'clock on Wednesday evening. I'm vlogging very late tonight. I just got in from kickboxing, hence this. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm hot and cold. <laughs> I'm very tired. <coughs> so... Anybody who happens to be watching, how are you? How was your day? How was work? Hope you're well. <sighs> Had a good day today. Went to work. Did, I don't know, six houses maybe? Fairly uneventful. Had a first time clean. Went smooth as butter. It was awesome. And came home. And I went to warm up my car to go get coffee. Realized, like, my back seat was all mucked up. I noticed that I had all my kickboxing stuff in the back seat, in a bag. That was all over the place. And... Of course, there were, there were receipts tossed all around my car, and I was like, what the fuck? So I go upstairs, hoping that Boo Boo had gone into my car looking for something and used the spare key or something. He was like, I didn't, I swear, Urgh, right? Like, fine, go get back in the car. And I realized my... Sunglasses were taken, a granola bar was taken, two pairs of gloves, and somewhere between two fifty and five dollars in change was taken out of my center console. So I obviously forgot to lock my car the other night, and some dickless piece of shit went in and took all that shit out of my car. Didn't touch my kickboxing stuff. My gloves were still there. I had a brand new pair of shoes. I think I've worn them twice, once. I don't know, once or twice. Um, all that stuff was in there. They took, like I said, my sunglasses. <laughs> Fucking junkies. My sunglasses. Somewhere between two fifty and $5 and change. And two pairs of gloves. And a granola bar. I had a granola bar in my console. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I hope it helped you out, bud. Like, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Whatever. So I have now, since I've been home for the last, like, ten minutes, I've checked to make sure my car's locked twice. <laughs> Motherfucker, I catch you trying to get into my car. It is on, like, Donkey Kong, my friend. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Whatever. So, went and got my coffee. And before I left the house, I delegated some chores to the boys. I was like, Boo Boo, please go collect the garbage cans. Put them in the backyard. And Monkey swept the house from upstairs and downstairs. So just sweep it all into a corner in the kitchen. I will vacuum it up later. While I go get my coffee and everything. And they did. They were awesome. They were so good. And. I sat down just for a little bit. Changed out of my work clothes. And put my. What I was going to wear to kickboxing on. And I made dinner. Which I have to now clean up after. <coughs> And I thought, I'm just going to sit on the couch and watch some television. And uh, laundry. I was going to, I was going to have one more load of laundry to do. And I totally, I passed out on the couch. So I have to do that now too. But my boyfriend called as I was watching TV. And he has a new job that he'll be starting probably around the 28th. I'm so happy for him. Oh my goodness. It's closer to his place. Like it's in his town. He said it's about a five minute drive from his place. 
as opposed to the, I think it's like a 45 minute drive to and from where he's at now and more money. So I am so stoked for him. Um, so we talked about that for a little bit and I got off the phone with him and then my buddy called. Like, I'm just trying, I'm just sitting here trying to watch a show, man. <laughs> Talk to him for a little bit. And then somewhere between the time, somewhere around, like, I, I got off the phone with him and I put my show back on. And I blanked. And all of a sudden it was dark out. <laughs> my show was done. <laughs> I'm like, oh crap, what time is it? to be at kickboxing for 8 30 like shit it's dark what the hell it was fine it was like seven o'clock or something like that I was like, <sighs> cool <laughs> I shook the cobwebs i actually had to go upstairs and Splash some water on my face i was so tired oh like and confused and oh my god i was like what year is it what happened? <laughs> Went to kickboxing. It was such a good time. I'm so tired. I'm so sore. Oh my God. But it's such a good time. I love it so much. It's so much fun. I went really light on the cardio today. I just can't. I can't do that shit. Fuck. If, if, if I do all that, then I can't do the rest of the class because I can't fucking breathe. That and I overheat really, really fast. Like the girl that was beside me was like, "You are so red." I'm like, "I know, I know. It's fine. This is why we don't do the cardio." <laughs> My instructor at one point, he's like, "Are you okay?" I'm like, "I'm fine. I'm yep. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna go outside for a minute." I didn't. I wanted to. I was dripping. But it was fine. It was good. And we finished the class and I stood outside with my friend for a little bit. And I had a fucking smoke. Yes, I did. <laughs> cooled down outside a little bit. It's like I cannot get in that car and, and start I, I need to cool down. Like I'm just She's like, You're so red. I said, I know. I get so hot so fast like it's just and then I get dizzy and then I get nauseous and then I start to panic and it's a whole I'm so high maintenance <laughs> it's like I want to enjoy the class so we just I stretch really good before class and I do the bare minimum for cardio because <laughs> it does not take much for my heart to get going and then I, yeah, it, it's too much. <laughs> and I would rather go hard on the class than and it's enough cardio, just, you know, kicking and throwing hands. So just saying, <sighs> but it was good. And then when I got in the car, I went to put my music on and I had my phone and I realized that there was all these messages from Monkey and I'm like, oh, what happened? What happened? I leave the house for a little while. <laughs> like he's fine. They were fine all goddamn day here. I get home. I go, you know, I go out to do something for me and holy crap, all hell breaks loose. So, and the messages, like the texts were very cryptic. And I was like, oh my God, what happened? I thought maybe it was something between him and, and Boo Boo. So I called. And he's like, oh, I was goofing around. And he, he like me, doesn't wear socks, right? He's goofing around in his bare feet. And he kicked the air return vent and split his toe open. And he didn't know what to do about it. <laughs> I said, well, did... Like, I told you I was going to class. Like, I can't, like, I turned my ringers off. My my phone is nowhere near me. Like, yeah. he's like, yeah, I thought of that after. <laughs> it's like, well, did you get it taken care of? 
like did boo did boo boo help you and he said oh yeah he said uh, and boo boo actually gave him shit he was like you know like why wouldn't you come get me like he's like oh, i forgot you were home <laughs> He was calling his stepmom, and it's like, what is she going to do? She's not even in town. Like, what is she going to do to help you? So, <coughs> Boo Boo took him to the bathroom and put some peroxide on it and some poly and cleaned him up. And, you know, he's like, I need a Band-Aid. And it's like, you can't put a Band-Aid on your toe. Like, it's just going to come off. Like, it's, you know. But he's fine. He's okay. So when I got home, I talked to Boo Boo real quick and found out what happened. And well, Boo Boo's going on, right? Like I saved his life. And <laughs> okay, I went upstairs and checked on Monkey. I'm like, you okay, buddy? He's like, yeah. <laughs> you know, you can go to your brother for help with stuff like that. Like he'll help you. He's you know. He's like, yeah, he told me, he told me to remember that, you know, don't tell me I never did nothing for you. <laughs> well, big brothers will be big brothers, but he'll help you. <laughs> he won't let you live it down, but he'll help you. <laughs> oh, man. So all in all, a very good day. <clears throat> I'm still trying to catch my breath. I am so out of shape. Oh, my dear Lord. But, you know, I could care less about getting into shape. Like, as far as fucking cardio and all that shit goes, I don't fucking care. <clears throat> I just want to keep my body in shape. My flexibility and my strength and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I could care less if I could run a mile. Like, I don't fucking care. <laughs> it means nothing to me. <laughs> uh, oh, my. So tired. Sorry. <sighs> so tomorrow, I'm off. Thank God. Um... I still have to phone the orthodontic people for monkey. I still haven't done that. So I have to do that in the morning. I think Boo Boo's working in the afternoon. So if I phone right when I get up, it should be fine. And then depending on what time Boo Boo's working, well... I know he's working. I just don't know what time. Um, I'll take him to work. And then I have to go gas the car. And. I'll probably do some puttering around here. And I think around 11. Either 11 or 11.30. Is my counseling appointment tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. That'll be another meet and greet because the original guy I went to see is retired. That still grates my cheese, but whatever. So, start from scratch again tomorrow, I guess. And I think when I'm done there, I'll probably vlog for a bit. And uh, I told Monkey we'll do a movie night tomorrow night. We were supposed to do it. Tuesday night. Yeah, Tuesday night. But Boo Boo was super late getting out of work. So I didn't get home until like 8.30, quarter to 9. And there was no point in starting a movie. I said, uh, you know, Monkey was a little disappointed, I think. But I said, you know, I told your brother um, from now on. <laughs> He can text me when he's ready for me to come get him. I'm not waiting in that parking lot for 
20 minutes, half an hour. Like, I'm just not doing it. I, I can't afford the gas to sit there with my car running to keep warm. And I can't waste the gas in the summer to keep the air going. Like, and it's just a pain in the ass to go wait in the store because they want you to wait in between the doors. And it's either really hot with the heat blowing or it's going to be really cold in the summer with the air blowing. You can just text me when you're ready for me to pick you up. Like, <laughs> <clears throat> so I said, you know, I'll make it up for you. I'll make it up to you. And so tomorrow night, Thursday night, we're going to do a movie night. We're going to do popcorn and snuggle on the couch and maybe I'll make him a tea or something. And he can pick a, he can pick a movie. I've been suggesting because he wants to get into, like, he's really into the, into the horror movies and stuff now. So I've been sort of breaking him in gently. Nothing crazy. And, uh, but I think I'll let him choose the movie tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see where he goes. And then Friday. I have a feeling it's just me and my boss at work on Friday. I know my coworker. Like every other, every third Friday, something like that, she has to go and pick up her son. So, and then she has him for, um, the weekends. So she usually takes every other, every third Friday off. I, I can never, I, I can't keep track. So I think it's just me and my boss tomorrow, but that's fine. Fridays are fairly simple. Oh, unless we have that big Jesus farm, there's a farmhouse that we do. And then they also have like this, their, their office building, right? We do both. The office is not such a big deal, but that house, holy fuck, I hate doing that house. And she's kind of a piece of work. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I haven't done that place in a good long while. I'd like it to kind of stay that way. We shall see. <clears throat> and then I don't know if my boyfriend's coming down for the weekend or not. It would be nice if he could, you know, with, you know, Valentine's Day and all, but it's not, we're not going to do anything. Can't go nowhere. So. My boss was telling me that she'd seen on the news something about Ottawa uh, getting rid of this vaccine passport and I think Al Alberta I think Alberta was too they're done with the masking they're done with the like all that shit they're like Alberta Alberta's fucking done Ottawa is supposed to be following suit apparently but keeping the mask of course like it fucking does nothing give give your fucking head a shake Whatever. Like, <laughs> false sense of security much? Just saying. <clears throat> but we shall see. We shall see. I mean, I enjoy going out to dinner and I enjoy going to the movies and stuff, but I, I could care less if I ever do it again. Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine but it'll be interesting to see what happens that is for damn sure so anyways we're at the 20 minute mark and my arms are tired of the camera so <laughs> I'm going to boot I'm going to do that last load of laundry and tidy up the kitchen and jump in the shower and die so anybody who happens to be watching thank you i appreciate you take care of yourself and we'll talk later